What is the first thing that you want to do? Well, let me tell you, that first thing that you need to do is to log in to the, uh, it is called the Human Communication Course. I'm looking at an email that they sent me. It's called the Human Comm Course for, the, for Real Communication, Second Edition. And that is the other area that we are going to go to take tests. So, in your lesson plan one, within Blackboard, you will see the links. There's a link there, uh, um, a lesson page specifically for getting you logged in. I attached some of the documents <clears throat> that you will need. And it's very easy, really, to get um, logged in. And once you get uh, logged in, then uh, what we need to do is, and you should have, when you purchase the book, a code at the back. That code is what gets you into the course for the semester. So you want to make sure to do that. That's one of the first things you want to do. Another first thing that you could do first or second is to truly familiarize yourself with Blackboard because we will be using the features such as the discussion board. This is where you will really have in-depth conversations with your classmates. Your assignments will be working with the journal area and you want to familiarize yourself uh, with that grade board. Your grades will be posted in Blackboard. Now, the tests that you take over in your digital textbook area is um, those are automatically graded and you'll do all your tests at home. So um, they're automatically graded. I will transfer the scores to Blackboard, okay? So you really want to familiarize yourself with the system. Maybe if you want to go ahead and send me a text message at 817-988-0267. And remember, with text messaging, I answer early morning, my lunch hour, and then in the evening and on the weekends. Except for Sunday, because I'm off on Sunday. And tell me what class you're in, tell me your name, and just say hi. Yeah, <laughs> I'll text you back. <laughs> and so you just really want to work to get comfortable with all the technology that we're using. So get comfortable with Blackboard, get comfortable with the real communication, uh, the human, it's called Human Com Class course for Real Communication Second Edition, and that's online. So get comfortable with that as well. <clears throat> if you have questions, please feel free to contact me. So. After you're comfortable with technology, both technologies, then the next thing you want to do is to click into um, how to be a successful student. Uh, because you're in, you're in terms of being an online student, you're not a fully online student, but Mondays you come to class, it's a hybrid class, so Mondays you come to class, and Tuesdays, I mean, and Mondays you come to class, and Wednesdays you do your work online. So that is uh, what you need to do. You need to, how am I going to be successful online? How am I going to be a success, successful student in this course? And I will tell you, one of the most, one of the things that I hear from most students in a hybrid course and in an online course is that they can't be procrastinators. That even though this is a Monday, Wednesday class and we're not in class on Wednesday, they still schedule that time to sit down and do their work. They're reading, they're posting to the discussion board, the journal entry, the group project, whatever. So you want to really learn how to be a successful student. So what are the things that you need to do first? You need to really get to know Blackboard technology. You need to get to know the technology of your textbook because that's an area where we will go take those tests. You need to truly uh, become uh, familiar with um, discussion board and that type of area and gradebook and um, that type of area. 
<clears throat> and you need to know how to be a successful student. <clears throat> you need to click on that link that's over on the left side of your screen that help you and give you some tips in becoming a successful student. So that's the first thing that you need to do. So you have probably listened to the greetings from me because that's the first link to click. Uh, now you've clicked what to do first and then after this you'll click how to be a successful student. The next link on that left side is click here for all your lessons. All your lessons, all your 16 lessons will unfold. However, you will not see all 16 of them. You will only see the first two and then I will unfold them every week after that. Uh, but you will always click that link for your lessons. Need to take a test? Click in that link and find out how to do it. Click, for example, Lesson 1. Click that link that says Click Here for All Lessons. Click into Lesson 1. Uh, when you're done with Lesson 1, and Lesson 1 will tell you what the, the goals are. I give you an introduction to the course. I give you a task list. <coughs> Be sure that you do a check off on that task list on that task list to make sure that you've done everything. Go through the lesson. You may listen to lesson. It may be uh, reading some. You will definitely always read the chapter, but it could be um, lecture videos on top of that. Um, everything that you need for each lesson will be in that folder. Okay, so you don't have to go over here to take a test. So you don't have to go over here. You click into that folder. Everything expands and it tells you what to do. Okay. So those are the things that you need to do in this first week of class. All right. I'll see you soon.